morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about rake receiver. Rake receiver. The CDMA receivers can combine all the delayed versions of the transmitted signal and provide a better signal to noise ratio at destination side. By using a specific correlation receiver unit, the rake receiver collects all the delayed versions or shifted versions of the original signal. Each and every correlator unit is capable of searching a particular range of time delays and it is termed as search window. The rake receiver given below is also known as diversity receiver. It is designed particularly for CDMA technique. Here, diversity of the signals are achieved by using uncorrelated multipath components with one another whenever the relative propagation delay values are greater than the chip time period. Hence, the rake receiver mainly makes use of the multiple correlations for signal reception in mobile communication. In this particular example, N number of correlators are used for detecting the multipath components. For obtaining an accurate estimate of the transmitted signal as a whole, rather than a single component, the multiple components are weighted after the N correlator units. Based on the output signal values, the detection and bit decisions are done. Rake receiver representation is shown in this diagram. A waiting state network provides a linear combination of the outputs from correlator for the bit detection purpose. It should be noted that if bit decisions are done with respect to a single correlation, then probability of bit error rate is higher. Assume that the outputs of the n number of correlators are a1, a2, up to an, which are weighted by alpha1, alpha2, up to alpha n values. If the SNR or power is smaller for a particular correlator, then its weighting factor will also be a smaller value. The general overall signal can be represented as A dash is equal to summation N is equal to 1 to capital N alpha suffix N into capital A suffix N where alpha suffix N indicates weighting coefficients for having a better performance to produce efficient signal reception Selection of weighting coefficients, which is based on output values, that is the actual output of correlator, is an important criteria in the rake receiver. Block diagram representation of a rake receiver is shown here. Rake receivers consist of a bank of correlators, each sampled at a different time with delay tau and this collects energy from the MPC. The sample values from the correlators are then weighted and combined. The rake receiver has a tapped delay line whose outputs are weighted and added up. The tapped delays as well as the tapped weights are adjustable and matched to the channel. The tabs are spaced usually at least one chip duration. Receiver filter plus rake receiver provides matched to the receive signal. Provides matched to transmit signal. The receiver adds up the weighted signal from the different rake fingers. The receiver adds up the weighted signal from the different rake fingers in a coherent way. These signals provide delay diversity, that is the frequency diversity. 
a rake receiver is a diversity receiver and all mathematical methods for the treatment of diversity remains valid. The complex conjugates of the amplitudes of the MPC corresponding to each rake finger provides the optimum weights for maximum ratio combining. L suffix R is equal to tau suffix max divided by capital T suffix C taps where tau suffix max represents maximum excess delay of the channel. The number of taps for the outdoor environments easily exceed 20 taps. The selective rake that is S rake receiver selects the L suffix B west paths and then combines the selected subnet using maximum ratio combining. S rake still requires knowledge of the instantaneous values of all MPCs so that it can perform appropriate solution. Important problems in rake receiver. Rake receivers with non-ideal spreading sequence that suffer from interpath interference. Optimum rake receiver has no intersymbol interference, that is ISI. If there is ISI, then the receiver must have an equalizer. The rake receiver can also be used to support soft handovers in CDMA. In a multipath channel, delayed reflections interfere with the direct signal. However, a DS CDMA signal suffering from multipath dispersion can be detected by a rake receiver. The receiver optimally combines the signals received over multiple paths. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.